Hello YouTube and welcome back to Life of this Planet. I know that I just missed a week of uploads and that is because I managed to lose all my audio again. So now I'm taking security measures against that. Got a little bit of insurance. I've got uh, two recordings running and that should fix everything. But I had like three weeks of uh, footage recorded and I'm not sure how much I'll still be able to use, if any. So I'm a bit frustrated by that. Still, no reason we can't just run away from... What the hell? It's doing it again. Run away from those things. Okay. That's not supposed to happen. Once you're off of them, you shouldn't... shouldn't die. Which I think is obvious. And I'm not sure what's making me die. Maybe I'm just staying too close to them or something. Let's try doing it a bit faster. Well, I'm alive. Maybe that is it. I don't know, that jerk though, when it just pulls you back. God, that freaks me out. Every time. Luckily, only the dark ones have to be worried about. If, I guess if you call that lucky. I mean, I do, right? It's less than all of them. God damn it, right over it. Ah, uh, sigh. So yeah, the reason that I was three weeks ahead, besides just, you know, planning well, is I've moved back to uni this week, and I should be posting this episode actually on the first day of classes. So that'll be interesting. I fully intend to maintain my schedule, and hope that that's actually a realistic goal with, you know, a job and a half and classes. So we'll see. But I love doing this. There's no reason for me to stop. Plus, honestly, I just blew a hell of a lot of money on a microphone, so <laughs> I can't. We jump. Oh, come on. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. Was it just glitched that first time? I'm okay with that. Try that again. Jump. Oh, and right over the top. Okay, so no jetpack, I guess. I think the different kind of enemies in this game are interesting, cause... Shit. They're all plants, right? There's nothing that's gonna hunt me but they're still challenging in their own way. And despite being a little glitchy sometimes, I think that's pretty good, uh... God damn it, right over the top, every time. Pretty good design. I mean, it keeps it to sort of puzzle game areas, which I'm alright with, I love puzzle games. There we go, got it that time. And still alive. Just the way I like it. That looks like ice, but it also looks like toothpaste. So I'm not really sure what to expect. Toothpaste land. The land of mint and honey. I don't know what I'm saying, ignore me. Very glaciery sound effects, though. Distant cracking, roaring wind. Well, whistling, howling, I don't know the word for it. And everything is blue. And 
and I can't think of a thing to say, so I'm just gonna keep on talking to myself. Keep on keeping on. Yeah, that's the challenge I face when I lose audio, is... I had all of this, and it was all new, and now I'm coming back looking at it like, well shit, I forget what I said. <laughs> so... So I'll just climb a mountain, and uh... See what's on the other side. Yeah, this is how we do it. Okay, now every, like, third thing I'm saying now is making me think of a song. Totally not on purpose, but it's happening. I can't help it. It's a disease. Hypermusicism. It's a real thing, look it up. Ooh, more buildings. The portal. Nice. Okay. Nice music. Damn. What is this? Not a thing to press buttons on or anything. Just looks pretty. I'm alright with that. And over here is probably unavoidable doom. But there's a wire going to it, so I think it's important. What are those, the energy structures? It looks like it. Vnimanya Opasnaya Zona. Um, attention, probably dangerous zone. Something zone. Man, it's been so long since I played this that I forgot everything was Russian. That is saying something. Okay. Wow, that is pounding music. And power. Once again, not too happy about the fact it makes the power lines literally glow. Because I feel like that means they're improperly shielded. But I guess if it works, beggars can't be choosers. So let's just see what we turned on. I mean, this is a big-ass building, so it must be important. And... Button! Hot damn. That is some industrial age machinery. And... Um, that is rather dark. Vontam, Sloman. Yeah, I can see it's broken. Great. There go my hopes for getting off the planet. Yeah, you're fucked. Peep a doop. I've discovered the portal the Russian. To the oh, all right. God, control. fine. Jeez. I've discovered the portal the Russians used to travel between Earth and this planet, but the device is inoperable. Seems there was some kind of massive failure so I won't be able to use the portal to return to Earth. I'm also running low on oxygen, but I believe there's another supply module several kilometers north of here. The woman is leading me in that general direction, so with any luck I can make it there and charge my oxygen, but then what? First things first, I guess. 
Okay, let's wander around and see what we have to see. Well, we've got a corner to immediately get stuck in. Good way to start out. For years, we depended on the portal systems to develop our colony on this planet. It never occurred to us that one day it would cease to function. As the native plants died and life receded from view, the hope that we would ever return to our families in Russia faded as well. It didn't happen all at once, of course. The portal faded from its former glory slowly over time. The more we developed this world for our creature comforts, the more desolate the environment became. Eventually, the portal began to mimic the world around us, and then it fought back. At first, there were simple accidents in not the transportation process of our supplies. We assumed it was a fluke. After all, we were dealing with technology that we had only just discovered. So this was rational conclusion at the time. Our theories were rendered inconsequential, though, when a group of colonists suffered the same fate. The shadows of their former selves, the gore-stained arrival platform, was a horror that could not be put out of our minds. Moscow sent nothing more, and we were too afraid to face fate and test our luck. We are now trapped here on a dying world. A grave of our own making. Well, that's fucking dark. And this was just never cleaned? Shit. Dynamite. Come on, pick it up. There we go. Okay. Let's stand far away from that. Bang. Alright. Totally failed to die. That's a success. In at least someone's view. Okay, just threw myself off. Clever. Okay, what can I pick up here? That's strange. Well, nothing to do but go forward if that's not working. Looking to a strange black screen. I'm not holding forward anymore. Not sure what's going on. That was weird. There was like a full three seconds where it was just black and footsteps without me pressing any buttons. Cliffs. Alright. I am not going that way. Okay. She is telling me to follow her now, though, instead of go to hell. Which I like. Always nice to have a friend. Okay, to the right. Oh, alright, yeah, you just want me to walk over here. That That's totally fine. And it actually was. Look at that. Okay. Stoy, подожди. Сейчас. Okay, cool. So yeah, speaking Russian helps in this part because she is telling you what to do. She's saying, "Come here now," and stop, and all of that. So simple directions. Stoy, подожди. Сейчас. Okay. Stoy, подожди. Сейчас. So yeah, she's going to say pretty much stop, go left, go right, all of that. Whatever you need to know. Which I think is pretty neat. And damn, she moves fast. Oh god, that was right next to me. Holy shit. Her 
Давай, давай. I see how this works. Налево, давай, давай. Okay. Figured it out long ago, but good for you, Mr. Astronaut Man. Ooh. All right. Well, this actually has some risk, and we've just hit 15 minutes, so I'm going to cut this episode off here, and I will see you guys in the next episode.